Hi, it's Mark from TrainingSpark. In this video, we're gonna give you some straightforward tips to help secure your LearnDash platform and protect it from hackers. Now, being an LMS, LearnDash platforms tend to have lots of users on there, which means user data. And it's important for you as a LearnDash administrator to protect that data. And to do this, you need some security measures in place. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to have enterprise level security or anything like that. There are some straightforward things you can do to prevent yourself becoming a target for hackers. So let's start with one of the obvious ones, passwords. Now, every admin on your platform should have a strong password. Passwords are easily guessable. And often this is done by bots on the internet that can spam your website tens of times a second and guess passwords. And if you have weak ones that are in like the most common password lists that you get available, um, then your site will be hacked quite quickly. So it's important to have passwords that are strong. And by strong, I mean that ones that aren't guessable. So mixtures of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, symbols, and things like that. And I'm on a site here called strongpasswordgenerator.org. And if you need any help creating a strong password, this is a nice place to go because you can just generate one here and save it and you know that that password is not going to be guessed by uh, any kind of bot anytime soon because it's it's just a random mixture of letters and numbers. It's also important to make sure you don't share that password with anyone. So even if you're working with a, a plugin provider who is providing some support, you should never really share admin level passwords to anyone because once they get out in the open, then they become, become very dangerous, get into the wrong hands and lead to unauthorized access to your system. And you should also avoid using that same password for other sites. So if you've got that password set for your learning platform, you should then not use that same password for any other um, website because if the other website gets hacked, for example, and your password gets exposed there, then it could then be used in turn on your learning platform. So it's generally good practice to use a, a separate, a different password for each website you register onto and a different strong password that's registered, you know, created by a, something like this. And speaking of which, if you have the same password registered on the lots of sites, there's a site here called have I been pwned, <laughs> pwned.com. And you can enter your email address here. And what it will do is show you any sites that you've, re you've registered onto that um, have been breached and your passwords could potentially have been um, found and, and made available out in the open. So it's, it's possibly worth visiting this site, putting in your email address and just making sure that your um, passwords, if you use the same one across multiple sites, hasn't been exposed. And if it has, you should change that and change it on your LearnDash platform. So passwords are a very weak um, level of security because they are guessable as we've seen. And also people can be tricked into giving that information away. So one of the other things you can do to enhance the security of your platform is to have another layer of security on top of the password. And to do this, you can install some security plugins on your LearnDash platform. I have one here called Defender. There's an, a few other ones, a really popular one called WordFence as well. And what these plugins will do is give you the option of something called two-factor authentication. So if I hover over Defender, which I've installed here, and go to 2FA, it says here, beef up your website security with two-factor authentication. And it's an extra step after the username and password aspect of your login where you have to generate a code and you can get that code on your phone or something like that. And um, it just means that if someone does get your username and password, um, via some means, they still wouldn't be able to get access to your system because they would need this secondary code. So two-factor authentication, you would typically have an app on your phone, something like Google Authenticator, and after you've 
logged in using your username and password, you would have to go to your phone and be given a six digit code on your phone and you'd have to enter that code as well to be able to access your Lendash platform. And it's just an extra layer and it just makes your site a whole lot more secure. So passwords are a weak aspect of anyone's learning platform. The other weak aspect is plugins and themes and WordPress core even if there are vulnerabilities. So plugins and themes um, are constantly um, developed and over time vulnerabilities can slip in there and um, what responsible plugin and theme developers and WordPress do is release security updates for those. So it's important to make sure that you keep your theme plugins and WordPress up to date to make sure that any security vulnerabilities in there uh, have been addressed and um, you can get some really serious vulnerabilities that are released and can give can lead to uh, your site being completely compromised um, if you if you don't update. So if you have a, an update of any of your plugins what you'd normally see in this top bar is a little uh, icon and it'll tell you how many plugins and themes and um, elements of your site need updating. So what you would do is click on that and then just run any updates to your LearnDash platform. Another thing you should do is be mindful of what plugins you have on your system. Don't install too many of them. And that might seem strange for a plugin developer to be saying this, but you need to be really careful what plugins you have on your platform. And don't have too many of them because if you have lots and lots of them it increases the attack surface of your platform and means that there's lots of potentially vulnerable plugins to attack so if you have a hundred plugins for example then any one of those could um, have a vulnerability in it and the more plugins you have the more risk there is of, of plugins having vulnerabilities and people being able to get access to your system so if you can keep things lean and avoid um, having too many plugins for little bits of functionality. Just keep to the, the ones that you actually need. And have a check of the plugins page. If you've got any inactive plugins, get rid of those um, if there's no reason for them to be there. And when you're installing plugins, just check how many people use them and how well they are kept up to date because what you don't want is any plugins that have been not updated in the last five years, for example, because it's likely that any vulnerabilities will have creeped into those. And when you get plugins for your site, make sure you don't use what are called nulled plugins, which are premium plugins that have been distributed via another site. So that it might be a, a site that gives you free access to premium plugins that you download from a website, but the reason being that you, you've got no idea if these plugins have been changed. So if you if you download plugins straight from the developer's site, then you it's likely that they have not been altered in any way. Whereas if you download them from a third party site that seems to be offering premium plugins for free, for example, then they could have put in any old bit of code into there and um, you could lead to your site being compromised. So avoid null plugins and make sure you know where your plugins have come from. Touching on a point I raised earlier, it is important to have a security plugin on your platform. So I have Defender installed here, but if you go to plugins and then add new, and then search for security, you'll see that there are a number of these available. So WordFence is a popular one, iTheme Security is a popular one. We really like Defender, which is this one here, and Security, Security, Security is also a good one. But they'll just add great features to your platform. So let's just have a quick look at some of the ones that Defender brings. It automatically has this malware scanning, which means it's constantly checking your platform for any malware on there. It's got a firewall, which will block brute force attacks where bots are trying to constantly guess passwords on your platform. So what will happen is a bot will fail the username and password check 
five times say and then it'll be blocked for an hour and it won't be able to come back on and try again so it's just a, a way to prevent constant password guessing attacks and other attacks as well and as well we have the two-factor authentication that uh, I mentioned earlier so there's some really good features that you get with these these plugins and you know most of them are free, you know, WordPress, WordFence is free, uh, Defender is free. They have paid versions of them, but for most of the features that would secure your platform, most of those are, are free to install. So the last thing we'll add here uh, is uh, be mindful of what hosting you use for your LearnDash platform and don't go for the cheapest of the cheap. The cheap hosting options tend to be the ones that are least secure and um, you know just avoid super cheap hosting and go for a sort of middle ground that's not too expensive but at least you know that the uh, uh, platform is, is set, uh, kept secure. It's also good to be keep an eye on what's being changed in LearnDash as well as WordPress. So if you head to learndash.com forward slash change log, you'll see the latest updates of LearnDash. And particularly, you want to look out for any that are related to security. So any security updates will be highlighted here. And there aren't usually that many with LearnDash, but if there are, then these are the ones that you need to update as soon as possible. And likewise with LearnDash, LearnDash has news showing when any new updates are released and um, if any of these are security releases. There are also some really good blogs like Securi's blog. So if you go to blog.securi.net, these have uh, blogs like this one, which is a, a patch roundup, which just lists all of the vulnerable plugins from any given month. And you can see if any of these plugins are on your system. And if they are, just make sure you've got those up to date. Another thing you can do is scan your site via sites like virustotal.com and these will tell you if you've been added to any blacklists or if they find any aspects of your site that look malicious. So what you do is head to virustotal.com, click on URL and then put in your address and what it will do is scan your site and tell you if you are marked as uh, you know, potentially uh, hacked or, or potentially contain malware on any of these sites. Another one of these is this sitecheck.security.net where you can search for your site's URL and it will just check if it's blacklisted anywhere, if it's got any malware and how um, high risk it is in terms of security. The last thing here we'll add is that you should be mindful of anything suspicious on your platform. So what you want to do is check things like your plugins page every now and again just to make sure there's nothing that you don't recognize. So if you suddenly see a plugin appear in there that you don't remember installing, then that's something you just need to look into. As well as on the users page, just checking to make sure you don't have any users that you don't recognize, particularly in the administrator area. And um, if there are, you need to get rid of that account um, and scan your system to make sure that there uh, hasn't been any uh, signs of, of compromise. Day to day, as an administrator of a LearnDash platform, you also need to make sure you're mindful of, of what you do around the internet. Don't click on any suspicious, suspicious links and links you receive in emails and things like that because what these are often trying to do is fish for your details so they'll they'll pretend to be something else and ask for passwords and things like that or lead you to sites that have malware that try and extract that data of your usernames and passwords so that they can use them elsewhere. So you need to be careful not just on your own platform but elsewhere on the internet and when you're receiving emails and things like that. You should never assume that you won't be hacked. It's a a fact of life that the internet is a dangerous place and apparently over 90,000 websites get hacked every single day according to hosting facts 
and you know um it's just the way things are on the internet but just assume don't assume that you are safe from hacking whether your site is big or small you're always potentially a target and one thing you can do just being aware of this is just make sure that your platform is backed up regularly and there are some backup plugins you can get for uh, WordPress so if we go back to plugins here and go to uh, add new and just search for backup one popular one here is this updraft plus WordPress backup plugin and what that does is it automatically backs up your database and files every now and again Jetpack has a backup um, facility as well and you can have these sent to third-party places like Dropbox or uh, you know Amazon S3 so that they're not stored on the same place as your actual platform and your web hosting might also have its own backups so if that facility is available just make sure that's enabled so I hope you find this useful and if you did please give the video a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe to the Train Spark YouTube channel